Hey, Shalom, I'm Shalom, first and foremost, call Lime Lot, and I hang out with you, how about Shimmy outside, about Shimmy out with Kakwadash. I want to give double honors to the Apostle of the Great Millstone, who will uh, teach well, and hearty Shalom, <laughs> so I can give Shalom to the elect. All right. Uh, Lord willing, I remember to call this uh, lesson giving notice or warning, okay? <clears throat> but uh, you see the title of the news article said North Korea launches a new intercontinental ballistic missile designed to threaten the U.S. And this is a good thing because these are the things that are going to destroy America. <clears throat> you see the missile in uh, that's being launched in this video. All right, you see it right there, Slovakia for going in and out like that, but you see it right there. I'm gonna zoom it in, and that's what's gonna hit this place. The scriptures say 200,000, all right, in uh, Revelations. <coughs> Lord, we'll remember to get that. I remember to get that, but it's, it's gonna happen, okay? Yesterday, the Lord allowed me to do a video on Russia. Uh, doing simulations to defend themselves all right and uh in case of uh america or any other is of his allies attacking russia all right they prepare for retaliation and Amer and north korea is preparing to strike all right so we're gonna read a little bit of this article it's kind of lengthy but <clears throat> we're gonna read some of it all right, it says, uh, North Korea launched a new intercontinental ballistic missile Thursday in its first test in almost a year of weapons de of weapons de designed to threaten the U.S. mainland and occurring days ahead of U.S. election. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un ordered the missile test and was at the launch site calling the launch an appropriate military action to show North Korea's resolve to respond to its enemies to its enemies moves that has threatened North the North sa the North's safety according to the defense ministry well what does this mean for you so-called Negro Latinos and Native American Indians this means that you need to repent and turn back to the Lord okay because if you don't you're going to get caught up in this mess and it's going to be a mess this is Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 1. No, Salakia. Let me jump down to 17. It says, Son of man have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. And warning is a notice. All right, let's look at this word warning. The word is uh, Zahar, okay, to admonish, to warn, teach, all right, shine, send out light. And the light that we're sending out is this, this word of the Lord, okay, all right, as odors or um, lamps for this light, you know, because a, a light is, in a, is, is either stored or used through electricity or from a flame. And it's either stored when using electricity in one form as a bulb or in a lamp. It's, it's the fire, you know? And it, it it allows things to be seen. Well, the average American is not paying attention to the geopolitical things that's going on. But the Lord is allowing me to speak to those that will listen and hear. And all the other brothers that's speaking in truth and sincerity, it allows them to do that as well. And there's a light to shine uh it's is it's in the symbolism as a light to help people be aware and see what's going on because they're not paying attention. <coughs> All right, to teach, to warn, to admonish, to send out light. All right, got something else in regards to it. Right here it says warning. In Webster's eighteen twenty eight dictionary it says cautioning against danger. Well, isn't this danger? Isn't this a, a warning or a threat from danger? All right, it says giving notice to, and who are we warning? We are warning those so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, okay? It says, uh, 
under warning, the noun sense, it says, ca caution against danger or against false or evil practices which, which incur danger, sin, okay? And that goes into rebuking or admonishing, all right? <laughs> Could, uh, verse 3 says, uh, well, definition uh, 2, it says the previous notice as a short warning uh, had a mouth of warnings, a month of warnings. Well, these have been years and years of warnings, and now the Lord has allowed these nations to technically build themselves up, to technologically build themselves up, to have these 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 types of weapons of war. It says the United States, South Korea, and <coughs> Japan had also identified the weapons as ICBM. Intercontinental ballistic missiles. Okay. It says the intercontinental ballistic missile is a ballistic missile with the range greater than 5,000 kilometers previously designed of for nuclear warhead delivery. Point blank period. It can travel up to 5,000 kilometers and designed for nuclear warhead delivery or capabilities. Okay? It says, the weapon was an ICBM and condemned the launch as rising tensions. The launch came as Washington warned that North, Korea, North Korean troops and Russian uniforms are heading toward Ukraine likely to augment Russian forces and join the war. <clears throat> North Korea confirmed the launch hours after its neighbors detected the firing of what they suspected was a new, more agile weapon targeting the mainland U.S. But people are so worried about folly, they don't see that mass death is about to come. It says the statement was usually unusually quick since North Korea usually describes its weapons test days, test a day after they occur. I affirm that the DPRK will never change its line of bolstering its nuclear forces, Kim said, according to the North Korean Defense uh, Ministry statement carried out by state media DPRK. Stands for the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, North Korea's official name. South Korea Joint Chiefs, Joint Chiefs of Staff said North Korea could have tested a new solid fuel long-range ballistic missile. Missiles with built-in solid propellers are easier to move and to hide and can be launched quicker than liquid propellant weapons. Well, we know Physically, that's what's going to happen. But the Spirit of the Lord is going to be on these missiles, all right, according to what it says in Joel, the second chapter. All right, where they're, they're going to march everyone in their rank or in their order, and they're going to fall upon the house like a thief and a rooftop. They're going to fall on the rooftops like a thief, breaking into a house, just roughly paraphrasing, and none of them shall break their rank, okay? And if the Lord's going to make them invisible toward to the Lord can make them invisible to uh you know uh technology such as you know satellites and uh UAVs and all this other stuff that they have right so let me get some more precepts this is Jeremiah 50 in verse 1, it says, The Lord, the word that Yahweh spake against Babylon, against the Chaldeans, of, and, against the, and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet, declare ye, declare ye among your nations and publish it and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. And what are we doing? We are publishing this word. We're giving warning, giving notice, okay, of what the Lord allows us to see and teach and preach about. Because the Lord is bringing destruction to this place, and it's our job to warn the people, just as Jeremiah did. It says, ba Babylon is taken, Baal is confound, Merodach is broken in pieces, her idols are confounded, and her images are broken in pieces. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate. <laughs> Look at that word, desolate, because that's what these missiles are going to do. 
whether they come from the side of Russia or North Korea or Iran or China, all right, they're going to make this land desolate. Desolate, it says here, the word is uh, Shema, okay? <clears throat> it says horror, apartment, a waste. You know what? Let's do it this way. Uh, to be to diminish by gradual dispiation or loss. All right, to cause to be lost to destroy by scattering or injury. Well, that's what the Lord's going to do. He's going to destroy this place by scattering the the thermonuclear missiles throughout the sky, uh, landing them here in America, and that's once they hit, it's going to scatter people, buildings, blow people, building, blow people and buildings up. Cars are going to melt them, which is going to cause injury. It says to the extent without necess necessity or use, and that's what it's going to be. America is going to be without use. To destroy wantonly or luxuriously, all right, uh, to destroy an, an enemy, to desolate, to waste an enemy's country. And that's what the Lord's going to do to America, man. It says here, let me go back, it says number six, to destroy by violence. All right, um... Basically, that's what it is. Destroy, ruin, desolation. The land is going to be destitute, stripped, a land as as lands lay waste. I don't know how scripture just came to my mind. Straight to the point. Uh, this is Malachi 1 and 4. It says, Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh, they shall build. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, like it, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. So we're going to throw down on, on Esau, man. <sighs> the word harass, harass, all right, it says to. Tear down, break down, overthrow, beat down, break, break through, destroy, pluck down, all right? Utterly ruined, destroyer. That's what the Lord's going to do, okay? With thermonuclear missiles, all right? <clears throat> it says, uh, Japan's defense minister, oh, I was reading Jeremiah. Let me go back, Salakia. Jeremiah 50 and uh, verse 3 it says for out of the north uh, we was talking about Russia there shall there cometh up a nation against her which shall make her land desolate and none shall dwell therein they shall remove they shall depart both man and beast <laughs> well if once the elect is delivered most of the people and the animals are going to be departed from the land by death, okay? <clears throat> I'm thinking Isaiah. This is Isaiah 13 and 5. It says, they're, they, uh, It says the noise of a multitude in the mountains. Like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. Yahweh of hosts muster the battle. All right, so see, they talk about these governments getting together and signing together or making pacts. 
with, uh, well, for example, China and North Korea. Right, China sending, well, North, I mean, not China and North Korea, it's like Russia and North Korea. 